All right, let's change the difficulty to hardest. Uh, we're gonna we're not gonna adjust the maximum hit points or lives. We're gonna leave those default, and we start on level one, of course. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Max difficulty. From your grave. All right, let's go. I did grow up with this game. I did have it as a kid. I haven't played it in a long time. I don't think I've ever even tried it on this difficulty. So I don't know what's gonna be different. <laughs> <laughs> that was lucky right there. Power up. All right, we're powering up. I'm super addicted to this. Yeah, I like this game too, Celeste. A lot of people do not. This was originally in the arcades. I played it in the arcade for the first time when I was like eight years old or something. And I liked it then, and I liked it getting it on Genesis. I was like, dude, I got arcade games at home now on the Sega Genesis. This is before that hedgehog character ever bothered to show up. I was a big fan of Genesis long before Sonic. Well, everybody seemed to jump on the Sega bandwagon once Sonic showed up. I loved Sega long before that character. I was never even impressed by that character anyway. Oh, let's go fast and die. Wow, fun. <laughs> no fun. Boring. I like this better. I haven't played this game too often. I want to return to it someday. It's good, man. It's not super long or, like, super hard or anything, at least I thought. Alter Beast Solo 2 player playthrough 1. You control one character with the hands, other with feet. I don't think ever. Ever. <laughs> I'm good on that. I've seen people do that kind of challenge, though. Control two characters with, with one hand or with two hands or something. But no, I don't think I'm going to try that. That sounds awful. <laughs> Oh my god, this guy fired some shots on Mario. He's going to have right away. It's like a schmuck! William, welcome in. How's it going today? You ever mess with any Codemasters games? So many of the unofficial <laughs> NES games made by that company. Yeah, I played Quattro Adventure Tide Breaks, and it's a piece of shit. Except for Super Robin Hood. That's, it's, it's got four games on one cartridge. Super Robin Hood looked kind of fun. The other three games, like Linus Spacehead, is a piece of complete shit. One of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. All right, we're off to a good start. By the way, you can't get health back or lives in this game, so any damage you take is permanent. That's the problem. So we really need to preserve as much health as possible. I want to get deep into this. Game music is a bit loud. Okay, let me turn it down some. All right, is that better? That might be too quiet. <laughs> I'm so bad with the audio. All right, thank you for bringing that to my attention. All right, there is that a little bit better? Sorry about that. I apologize. If any time the sound doesn't sound right, you guys, please tell me. I'll be more than glad to fix it. Dude, I got a hitless run working here. I haven't even gotten hit yet. Oh, there's the chicken wing from Golden Axe. Look. Who's played Golden Axe? That's the chicken wing. I love the chicken wing. It's great. That's better? Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Sorry about the sounds. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god, I got out of that without getting hit! Give me that. No! <laughs> Alright, we're in Dragon now. I always screw the audio up, up in my streams. I have no idea how they work. Sickly chicken. Yeah, he's like pale yellow. It's not in good shape like the ones in Golden Axe. For Golden Axe for Proto to play off his Wheel of Jane. You did! That's a great game. I love Golden Axe. It's so fun. Got a Golden Axe co-op stream playing fairly soon. That'll be fun. Good night. Good night! That's a, like the easiest boss ever. Twitch is doing some weird stuff recently. Frank, you're exactly right. Twitch has been kind of weird lately. A little bit off on connections, a little bit off on raiding. There's a lot of problems. Poral Hilton, welcome in. Open my presents to Mega Drive with Altered Beast 1990. I love it. I love it. That is awesome, sir. This game's underrated, I think. I always thought it was underrated. People don't talk about the older Genesis games. It's always Sonic this and Sonic that. Well, I like the older stuff. It's not working too well, is it? There we go. 
You turn into a bear on this level. Golden Axe of Duel on Sega CD is my favorite. That's a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. That's a Golden Axe fighting game. That's weird. I've never played it. I've seen it before, but I've never played it, but it's nice looking. It can be all your favorite Golden Axe characters. There we go. Afterburner? I remember playing that in the arcade. I wasn't much of a fan of it. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn! Freaking ants! Hornets! Whatever the hell these things are. <laughs> God damn! Went all my health in like half a second! No! I missed the power up! Oh shit, I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh shit, I am in trouble. Okay, we have to go through the stage again because if you miss any of the power ups, this is what the game makes you do. Alright, this just put the run in jeopardy, by the way. Now, if we can get the power up, I think we'll be okay. All right, now I can be a bear. All right, now I'm a bear. <laughs> All right, it's great being a bear. The bear has like petrifying breath and like a rolling attack. Space Hamster, how you doing, man? Hope you're doing good. Yeah, he's got a rolling attack like Sonic. It's kind of similar. Coral Hilton, thank you for the resub with Prime. Thank you for these six months, dude. I really appreciate it, man. Too much streak. Thank you so much. Oh, you not you, you did not just punch a bear. You did not. Alright. Chicken wing, got him. At least you're really powerful in the animal forms. At least there's that. That's amazing. I'm a bear with a rolling attack. God damn, the chicken wing got me. All right. Dude, I am so close to losing this. Yeah, I've got your ROM hack, Spinzig. Castlevania 3 Chaos. I've got it. We'll do it. It's a game that shows off ideal male physique. Okay. Whatever floats you. What? Dude, this level is just kicking. You know what? I have no lives left now. The run is in deep jeopardy. I don't think we're going to beat it on this run. That's okay. Yes! All right, well, at least we'll make it stage four. This is a lot harder than the base game. Holy crap, there's way more enemies. Grandma did a trip to the US in 92 and brought back Afterburner for NES for me. I've never seen Afterburner for NES. Was it any good? Vanilla, what'd you think about it? What'd you think? This is, this run is not gonna end well. <laughs> this is not gonna end well, man. This is a hard boss at the end of this level, too. Alright, if you touch an enemy, it doesn't always hurt you. I'm in so much trouble. This is such a fun game. This is not a very long game. No! I'm, oh my god! Well, now it's really over. I might as well start over, but that's okay. Wish Black Belt Fist of North on Sega Master System was as very as this game. I like um, that game. I have that. Black Belt. It's, it's got good boss fights in it, too. It turns it into like a Street Fighter boss fight in that game. I streamed that a long time ago. Black Belt on Master System. I was always curious about it. It's pretty fun. But yeah, it's definitely Fist of the North Star. All right, you don't want to jump kick those wolves. You don't want to do that. All right, we have to go through the level again. I'm not going to make it. You get very few lives to work with in this game. I have done a deathless run of this game on normal difficulty, but this is not normal. So short what I meant, I probably beat it on normal only one time. Yeah, this is a short game. This is near the end of the game already, but I'm really screwed now because I missed the power up. If you miss a power up, you're kind of just dead. Oh, okay, I got it, barely. Catman, have a great day, man. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it very much, sir. Hope your work day is not stressful. I'm a tiger. I like being a tiger. The tiger is really powerful, but this boss at the end of the stage is probably going to be where the run ends. Unfortunately, that's okay. We'll do another run. I was doing so good, too, until I got to the third stage, and that just ruined it. so powerful. It feels good in this game when you get the animal power up because you're just so powerful against regular enemies. 
it is possible to do a no animal run in this game. Just don't get the power ups, but you know, that would be psychotic to get through that. Goyim, you like this game? I'm glad you do. There's a lot of people that do not like this game at all. All right, let's fight this crocodile thing. I hate this boss. You can't cheese this boss like you can a lot of the other ones. What if I actually killed this guy? Make it to the last stage, but that's where the run's gonna end, unfortunately. I don't have enough health to, if I had one more life, we'd probably be able to beat the game, but just didn't quite have enough. Ah, I got him hitless too, how disappointing. All right, now we're actually in hell on this stage. This stage is literally, I think, supposed to be hell. Oh, I'm gonna get a power up. Power up. Try and stay in the middle, maybe. I can bebop. Well, we're not dead yet. <laughs> we're close to being dead, but not quite. Hit yet? Oh my god! No! All right, here he comes, final boss. Welcome to your doom. Here he comes, rock steady. And that's it. That's it. If I'd had a little, a couple more, a little bit more health, I would have beaten them. All right, let's go on another run. That was a good run. That was a good warm-up run. Let's call it that. All right, start back over. Good run. From your grave. <laughs> if I had the Chun Li power up, it'd be easy, right? Be a piece of cake. That was a good run, though. I'm happy with that. I, I did better than I thought I would, honestly. I'm starting over. We have to have health. Have to have some good health. I can't take damage on level one. That cannot happen. Gotta make sure the uh, settings are correct. That was a great run. I'm really happy with that. All right, still on hardest. All right, let's do it. Got a value of that last sliver of health. It, dude, went through like the whole last two stages without getting hit once. At level three is what ruined that run. All right, another run. Saw that coming, last boss is stupid. I knew he was gonna use that sweep kick. I just wasn't sure like when exactly it was coming. So I think he does it after two swings with his fist, I think. Chun-Li ROM hack would be amazing. It would be. Anything adding Chun-Li would be great. That's why I like that Street Fighter Mega Man ROM hack so much. This is all I had the Street Fighter characters in it. Wolf, next time we play Alpha on your channel, I'm gonna play as Akuma. I'm gonna get you with the Raging Demon. I've been practicing it off stream. Be, be warned, the Raging Demon is coming for you. <laughs> that move is so satisfying to hit somebody with, too. It's gonna be great when I kill you with that. It takes off half your life, too. <laughs> I'm gonna be looking, I will destroy you. No, you will not. You will not destroy me, no shot. <laughs> it's gonna be great though, I can't wait. You're, that lightning doesn't even hurt you! I like this game, Link. I know a lot of people are not a fan of this game. I completely get that. I've always liked it though. This came with my original Sega Genesis. That's one of the reasons I like this so much, is that it came with the original Genesis. You'll retire from Street Fighter? No, ain't no, no retirement. There is no retirement in Street Fighter. None. You can never retire. 
It doesn't matter if you don't play for 20 years, but th then uh, y you're still an active player. You like this, Celestio? I do too. I like this game. This is the first Genesis game I ever played. Genesis back in the original days before the Hedgehog was all about uh, arcade ports. Really good arcade ports. Or are we playing level one again? I died. I ran out of lives. You don't get any continues in this. You can't get your health back. This game is unforgiving. So anytime you get hit, it's permanent damage. So we have to start over. Pharaoh Man, how's it going? This is only one of the first Genesis games I've played. Yeah, this game's great. This game's great. See how much of a bully mixer is? I'm no bully! Talk about bullying! It's you and Mario Kart! Jesus Christ! Please! That's where the bullying goes on. I'm terrible at it. And I get in first for like half a second. And you're like, oh, hey, Mixer, here's a shell. And then I'm, before I know it, I'm back to ninth again. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, it was fun being in first for two seconds. Thanks. <laughs> it's always the way it goes. It's so sad. All right, kill all these stupid dragon snakes, whatever the hell these things are supposed to be. This was a huge deal back in the day. It was like playing an arcade game at home. When I originally got my Sega Genesis, I was like, dude, I practically have arcade at home now. It's that cool. That's exactly what happened last time. God damn it. Is this in Quackshot? Quackshot's good too, man. I remember streaming that one. I like Quackshot. Maybe we'll do a game night tomorrow night. I'll, I'll probably be around at some point for it. Friday and Saturday evenings, I'm usually hanging with family some, but I, then I get home and I can join in on whatever's going on. Ah, oh, he landed a hit on me. That's okay, we got him. vision Mario Kart throwing shells behind him as he crosses the finish line for yet another victory. Yeah, I know, he's already won. Let's just screw over the people right behind, yeah. That's why I show no mercy when I play him in Street Fighter. In Bully Mixer and Street Fighter, just don't jump into the sweep and use safe fall. That's not going to help. That's not going to help. Sweep and safe fall is not going to do much. I know how to deal with that. Good. Cool. I like that. This level sucks, by the way. All right, the wasp are going to come for me again. Like they always do. It's the end part of this level that ruined the run last time. Make sure that doesn't happen again. Can't believe they don't even refill your health in this game. Like, you beat a level? Okay, good job. You got through a level. Uh, want some health refill? Well, you're not getting it. Because this game doesn't do that. All right, we need to get to the bottom. Like, now. God damn, there goes the run. <laughs> All right, that was better, I suppose. All right, let's be a bear. Let's be a bear! All right, at least we're gonna get to fight the boss on this run now. I like being a bear. You know who the best bear is ever? Wally Bear. He runs the No Gang. You guys ever hung out with that dude before? The, the No Gang. Goten's a member of the No Gang. <laughs> so don't get the bear's attack. He's got a rolling attack and like his uh, breath attack. He's pretty good, honestly. Looks like he's shooting a snot bubble. It's supposed to be like a petrifying breath attack or something. All right, look, we, we beat that guy without even getting hit that time. All right, this run is so much better. It's ridiculous. Might actually beat the game this time. I don't understand this melee. No, it's just the bear's breath attack. It's weird looking. All right, I'm not going to screw this up this time. I'm going to stay on the ground level. Don't you punch me. What the hell? Get punched by an undead. No, that scored it. That actually hurt me. Oh my god, that landed a hit. All right, we're going to stay on the ground here. There we go. I remembered where he was. Power up. Steroids up! That's right. <laughs> I like how the head doesn't change size, though. That's kind of funny. The head does not change size. We doing a Tatsu? Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, there's the Tatsu. Go 
All right, where's the last power up? We're near it. It's right here. Got it. All right, good. A little concerned you get increasingly undressed every time you power up, it feels backwards. It kind of does. All right, I died right there, but that's okay. Because you know what? When you pick up the power up, it stuns lock, you, stun locks you for a second, and enemies can actually hit you while you're powering up. It's so dumb. Small head makes for stronger muscles. Everyone knows this. I don't think so, because there's a guy that took steroids in baseball named Barry Bonds, and his head grew like four more sizes after age like 35 or something. It's the most unnatural thing ever. And people are like, we should put him in the Hall of Fame. For what? Cheating? <laughs> When's my head gonna grow three more sizes and my feet gonna grow another couple of inches like his did at, after age 30? When's that gonna happen? Oh yeah, it doesn't if you're a normal human being. That's not possible. Son of a bitch, all right. All right, got him. Got him. You guys talking about Tatsu from freaking Ninja Turtles? Master Shredder. I, Tatsu, now lead. Any who challenge, step forward. Then Tr Shredder steps forward. Tatsu is leader for like a minute. All right, we're back in hell. Barry still had to swing the bat, field the balls, and run the bases. Yeah, but he wouldn't have gotten those home, that home run record without those roids. So, yeah, it, I'm invalidating his career. <laughs> God damn it! Missed it! Missed it! Missed it! Run now in jeopardy, because I missed. That's all it takes in this game to screw yourself over completely. I'm in trouble. <laughs> now, I haven't even gotten a single power-up yet. I can't kill these guys in one hit. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, this is not where you want to not get powered up, is on this stage. Power up. Really? Retro Palooza? I've never been there, Studio Scott, but that sounds awesome. People didn't realize a woman is about to get sacrificed in some dark ritual. That is going on in this game. <laughs> that is the, the plot. Hey, she got turned into a bird, too, or something, right? This game made me hate rhinos. You're not a fan of Rocksteady then, are you? Retropalooza is great gaming retrocon. I wish I could go. We, we have, this is Alabama, man. We have the mullet toss. We have the butter bean festival. You guys get like retro video game stuff. I, I get the butter bean festival. It's freaking awesome. Get on my level. This is Alabama. That's what we do. All right, here we go. Was Alter Beast a pack-in? It was, Leather Soup. Yes, I had it back in the day. This was my pack-in game for the Genesis. Other people got the Hedgehog. I got this. I was happier with this. I like this game more than Sonic. Sonic games just bother me. I'm sorry. <laughs> they bother me. No, stupid unicorns are not going to get me. There we go. Altered Beast was the original. It was. Son of a bitch. Are you serious? We're about to fight Rocksteady. I need health. Sonic games bother you too? Good. I'm not the only one. Some people just love them, but it's the go fast and die thing I never forgave that game for. All right, we got to beat Rocksteady. Should be able to handle him this time. I love Sonic 1 and 2. No, Sonic 3. That's your favorite game. Packin' was Internal Champions. That's an underrated fighting game, Chris. I actually like Sonic Spinball. I didn't like that either. <laughs> God. No! Sweeps and stuff. Who do you think you are, Chun Li? 
You're lucky I cannot switch to Chun-Li. You're so lucky. I have to be this centurion guy they bring back from the dead that's worthless. But if I could be Chun-Li, the rhino wouldn't have a chance in hell. Exactly, Goten. Thank you. Freaking foot sweeps and shit. It's bull crap. Silver Lining Mix is getting a challenge now. Yeah, this is harder than those ROM hacks put together. <laughs> it really is. I can't cross them up! I don't have any of my tools that I have with Chun-Li. I have nothing. I have a werewolf fireball. whoop de doo It's not good. It's actually pretty good. He's a hard boss fight, honestly. All right, let's get there and try and preserve health. Power up. Who's fun to play as in Marvel vs. Cap... Uh, or Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom? Who? Chun-Li? More health than you deal damage. I, I know. If I could get there with a little more health, I think we'll be fine. It's good. Cool. Got hit on level one. Beautiful. The good thing is this is a short game. It won't take long to get back there. Another, like, eight minutes or something. Oh, so Chun-Li's good in that game. Good. I've never played it before. Game Man, how you doing today? Penfold Hamster, welcome in. Do it again, but better? Will do. Will do. Try and get good, right? It's hard to preserve health. You don't get hit points back in between levels. It's just like the arcade. The arcade did that. Play this a lot in the arcades, hard game. Yeah, it's not an easy one. It's short and intense, basically. It's not long. It's only got five short stages. Chun-Li is good in every situation. She's pretty darn good. She doesn't really have any true weaknesses. That's why I like playing as Chun-Li. We have to have lives. We have to have some lives. That is unacceptable. We will start over. After we finish this, maybe we'll do a street fight or two and call it a day. It's four o'clock. You'll have time for a couple of street fights and then call it. Beardmaster is here. Beardmaster wants to add to his win total. Are you shitting me right now, game? Are you shitting me right now? All right. Be an asshole then. Fine. I'm going to just keep going until we win. No continues. No nothing. I'm going to hit reset. I'm going to hit the reset button. Andy, what do you think about this game? You got an emote for it. What do you think? Is it good? You like it? Andy, you and I, you have good opinions on games, except for Dark Souls. <laughs> we'll let that slide. <laughs> I the truth be told, I've never played it before. Just people will shut up about it. <laughs> but but it, it's all good. I actually like this game a lot. Perfect. I think it's an underrated game myself. Like, people won't really give it a shot or anything. This is on hardest difficulty. It's really goddamn tough to survive long enough. I have done a deathless run of this on normal, but that's on normal. This isn't anything but normal. You gonna get the new ISP? Maybe we can have normal matches after? I hope so. I hope so. Remember, you need connecting to Ethernet might help your currency. God damn it! Reset. We have to get a good run on level one. We have to get a good run or it's a reset. from your glade. Go 10, I agree. If this guy has the power to bring someone back to life from the dead, why can't he just go deal with Rocksteady and rescue what's her name? Why has it got to be this guy? This guy has nothing to do with anything. He was a dead guy. He was resting in peace. And now they brought him back to life instantly in combat with undead. Let mortals sort out this shit? Yeah your own daughter and you're gonna let some mortal nobody deal with it they can turn into a wolf or something looking for a son-in-law too i guess so well he's gonna get one in a minute as soon as we deal with rock steady exactly your point oh yeah i, I can't disagree with that quirky need a dark souls point redemption all right 10 billion points <laughs> Is that enough? <laughs> It'll cost more than shut the stream down. How bad do you want it? You gotta be here for like 30 years if you want it. Jesus Christ. Alright, I'm gonna stand in the middle, because I think that's where I got hit last time. Okay, good. I, I can deal with one hit. I'm at 204k points. We're gonna do like community redemptions like you did with Solar Jetman. I think that'll be better. I've got some games planned. 
In fact, I've got one plan that I know I'm going to hate because Grunt recommended it to me and it was like, this game. This game! And I was like, should I play this game? He was like, yes, play it. He said, but make it a bad redemption. I was like, okay. So that's been in the works for a while now. I've got some other ideas too. Gresco keeps wanting me to play something and I'm going to put that as a bad game redemption. So yeah, I, I got some stuff in the... Dude, fuck this! Dude, what the hell?! Can I beat level one now?! Rise from your grave. This is why it's bad to keep going on runs in games. You, you, you want to get back to where you were. You don't care about doing the early stages anymore. You just want to get back to level five or whatever. You don't care about these levels. You're like, I'm done with these. That sets in when you're playing a lot of battle toads too. Like you'll you'll be like, all right, I died at Terra Tubes. I want to get back to Terra Tubes, but then you'll screw up at Volkmire's Inferno because you want to get back to Terra Tubes. You don't care to do everything again. It's all combined to form Voltron. I'm forming the head. Uh, who are you gonna be, the Studio Scott? Are you Pidge? That's you. That's P you're Pidge. <laughs> I'll give you the weakest character. <laughs> Uh, Wolf not liking Terra Tubes. J Dog, what's your least favorite level of Battle Toads so far? You, J Dog, and Wolf Master are both doing Battle Toads playthroughs, and they're both at uh, Rat Race. What, what's you guys' least favorite level so far? Wolf, I'm pretty sure for you it's Terra Tubes. I won't reveal what my least favorite is until you guys beat the game, because I don't want to spoil anything. But we'll talk about it then. Ultra Beast is a get, definitely a game that gets worse the longer you play. I like it, but I'm starting to get annoyed now. Necroseth, welcome in. Uh, I'm getting annoyed. I kind of like Greek mythology, though. Greek gods and stuff. I like Zeus. I like Odin. I like Thor. I know my Greek gods. Loki. Yeah, I know my stuff. I took a mythology class in high school because I had all the credits I needed to graduate, so I just needed to fill in with some fun stuff. And all my friends were like, I'm going to take some college prep courses like AP Chemistry, and I was like, well, you have fun. I'll be in Greek mythology. I'll be doing that. And they were like, you slacker. I'm like, yeah, I'm damn right. I've done my time. You have fun taking a class you don't need. I mean, all the levels are great and fun, not rage-inducing at all. Absolutely. I like the way you think. I like the way you think. <laughs> I like Rat Race. Rat Race is honestly a fun level, but figuring it out on the first playthrough kind of sucks. But I do like the level. Thor, Noden, or Norse, though? That Yeah, you're right. Sorry. I was. Get, it's been a couple of years since I was there. You're right. That's Norse Gods. F Rat Race. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wolf will feel the same, too. I like Zeus. He's my buddy. Yeah, he and I hang out. All right, we gotta get further in the level without getting hurt. That's been a problem. Can I hit this from here? Nope. How could you not like this game? This game's fun. It's short and intense. It's not a long game. It's not like Battletoads. Battletoads long and intense. This is short and intense. This is more tolerable. You don't get continues or health back in this one, though. All right, that is the dragon power-up, and I just can't get it without taking a couple of hits. Are you serious?! I'm not happy with that. I'll keep going, but I'm not happy. Every time I go for the power up there, they stun lock me and I can't get it. Mr. Strickland always calls Mixer a slacker. Well, Mr. Strickland is a is a poor excuse for a principal. What do you think about that? He was drinking in his office during the Enchantment Under the Sea dance. Shame on him. He was probably looking at the Ooh La La magazine while he was at it. Short and intense, better than long, that's true. That is very true. Gaijin, how you doing today, man? <laughs> multiplayer, this is really hard in multiplayer, by the way, because two players both need to get their power-ups, and you can steal the other power-up from the other player. Like, you can have one person power up real quickly and leave the other person hanging, it kind of sucks. <laughs> I remember doing that with my cousin. He was like, okay, it's my turn to get a power-up now. I'm like, uh-uh, I'm getting them both. <laughs> he was like, what? You can't do that? That one was mine. I was like, well, I didn't see your name on it. Power up. And Equus, welcome in. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Thank you for the sub with Prime Gaming. I appreciate the two months very much, dude. Great to have you here. 
I'm doing good. I'm having some issues. <laughs> but thank you. Equus, thank you for the resub, man. Thank you so much. We're gonna get there. Never like remember friend had this game in the early 90s. I didn't like it. Yeah, it's fine. Not every game's for everybody. They get me every time. Every time they get me right there. Alright, maybe we'll get the bear now. Alright, bear time. Oh. All right, let's do it. Let's kill this guy without getting hit like I did last time. That was amazing. I got lucky. You just get lucky with this. Thank you for the two months, man. I really do appreciate it. All right, let's go. Zeus was a pretty powerful god. This fight's kind of RNG. I'm not a fan. You just keep hitting B and hope it, you, it dies before it hits you. I got lucky that time. All right, we're doing good. All right, we got a good run working. Let's see if we can hold it together. That's the thing. Hold it together. I got all my lives going in the, the stage four. It's only five levels. Whiz on your grave. I'm going to whiz on the grave of Pugsley Scavenger Hunt. Yellow Freeze, welcome in. I got barely lucky. I did. I'll admit when I get lucky. I got the good pattern. I did. If you get the bad pattern there, it fires low and will hit you every single time. Andy, I remember watching you play that a while back, and you kept getting the bad pattern with that. And you were like, how unlucky could this be? It just kept happening over and over. It's an RNG-based fight. And that wolf actually hit me. Bullshit right there. Hitboxes was, was wrong. Kind of like Street Fighter. There's a lot of bullshit in that game, too. Game was wrong. It's rough. It is. You can't count on the same thing happening twice in this game. Which is kind of okay sometimes. Some RNG is good. It keeps things a little fresher. I'm, I'm not too much of a hater on RNG, unless it's just absurdly off the charts. Which it can be. Yeah, th this is a Tatsu move from Street Fighter right there. You have to do it manually, though. He won't spin on his own. Alright, let's get the Tiger. Solid run, feel great when I make it this far with two lives on normal difficulty. Ed's going good, especially on max difficulty. Freaking rock steady statue back there in the back. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. I suppose to remind me of Symphony of Night. I mean, yeah, it's something somewhat similar to the zombies and stuff. Welcome to your doom. You got faith? I don't know, man. I don't know. It's a tough run. This would be doable deathless on max difficulty. It'd definitely be doable. It'd just take a lot of runs to get the good RNG you need. I'm not willing to do it on death a deathless of this on maximum, no. On normal was enough. But it would definitely be doable. It wouldn't be that bad. Right, he's taking some damage. Alright, watch out for the little dragons. You can get caught in a bad spot with them. He's close to being dead. Yes! Final level! Getting greedy! That's right! Fight like a tiger! That's right! Tiger knee, tiger shot, tiger uppercut, more tiger than you can shake a stick at. Did it on Death Souls, also added the life energy bars. Yeah, you can add two more hit points. Yeah, it's very customizable game. You can add more hit points and more lives if you really want to. Which is good. I like options in games. I like difficulty settings. I'm a big fan of all that stuff. I remembered he was going to take the low path. Don't you... Don't you do it! Uh-uh! Stupid unicorns. They've got like a jump kick move that does a lot of damage if it hits you. Alright, it's gonna be like from the left side. Perfect. This is a run I'm talking about, man. No damage run? Nah, I'm good, Directrix. <laughs> I'm good. It was hard enough to get a deathless run of this game originally on normal difficulty. There's just so much RNG and bad stuff that can happen, not being able to not get health back. All right, sometimes there's an extra enemy that spawns over there, but not always. What happens whenever going into the gym? You turn into a wolf, too. General Andrews, you just turn into a wolf, don't you? It's freaking awesome. <laughs> One, two, jump. 
and he got me. Okay, that's fine. One, two, is it three? One, two, three. He hit, how did he hit me with that? It was a freaking lead sweep, and it hit me in the air? What kind of hit box was that? All right, we won, whatever. <laughs> whatever, almost got a deathless run, dude. That was really close. Lance, what's going on, dude? Welcome in. Freaking leg sweep hits me in the air. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. It's like an anti-air from Street Fighter. All right, we we found what's her name. Who's this, is that even supposed to be? Athena? I'm going to fight the credits. I will, Brigan. I'm going to start a fight with the credits. It was the angriest victory ever. Well, I got cheap shotted. We're not looking at the credits. We're just going to kick them off the screen. <laughs> there go all the credits. There went the credits. Bye. Leg sweep that cancels air moves sound familiar. Well, that's different. That's Chun Li. <laughs> that's Chun Li. Oh, this is loop two. Let's see how far we make it into loop two. On max difficulty. Let's see if, how far we can make it. I'm not going to be able to beat it again, but I'll get as far as I can on loop two. Power up. It's not going to go well, but yeah, let's try it. Why not? And after this, we'll do some street fights. This part is interactive. Yeah, you can ki you can kick the uh, you, you can kick the uh, the credits off the screen. We don't care who made the game. Just start loop two. <laughs> As a kid, I was like, I don't care who made the game. Just keep hitting stuff. If it moves, hit it. You didn't know that? I, I just, like, I found it randomly when I had this game as a kid. Because this this is the first Genesis game I ever played. And I had Golden Axe, and let's see what... Set. Are you serious? I got juggled? I didn't even know it could do that. Okay, well, this run will be over quick. But we've got loot 2 going now. If I don't get hit again, we might make it. Leg sweep that cancels air moves. That's because that Chun Li sweep kick like angles upward a little bit, Wolf. That's the way that works. And it's kind of good too. Jorgo, what's going on, man? Welcome in. How you doing today? Raven Katari, welcome in. We're on loop two. We're gonna see how far we make it on loop two. I'm not gonna. If, when I game over here, we're done. I'm gonna go as far as I can. You only get one shot for loop two. What if I beat it? That happened on Russian Attack when we were playing that on NES. I was like, okay, we beat it. Let's see how Loop 2 goes. And then I beat Loop 2. <laughs> it made it to Loop 3, and that's where it ended, but it's still fun. This is Loop 2. Yep, got it, guys. And about the only credit I look for is who did the music. It's important aspect of the game for me. Oh, I agree completely. I agree 100%. Good music can make or break a game. Or bad music can break a game. And good music can lift a crappy game up quite a bit. I'm trying to think. What's an example of a bad game with really good music? Try, try and name something like that. I'm sure there's some out there. I can't think of any right this second, but they're out there. Zelda 2. Power up. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? <laughs> Jag the Gemini, welcome in Final Fantasy 13. I've never played it before, but I'll take your word for it. I will take your word for it, sir. The newest Final Fantasy game I played is 7. I'm a little bit behind. But yeah, 13, I'm, I'm sure. That's surprising, too, because like Final Fantasy games, you expect to have like a rockin' soundtrack or something like 6 or 4 or something like that. 5's got a great soundtrack. 5's got the best battle music. Yeah, you should, you should have seen that one coming. Should have seen that one coming. How dare you, Brigand. I'm going to get hit here again. Every time I go into the dragon, I get hit right here. Except for this time. All right, I'll make it lie right on me. Never played the card game in Final Fantasy VIII? Nope. Never have. I've, I've seen very little of Final Fantasy VIII. I think I would enjoy it. But that's kind of a game that a lot of people hate. <laughs> They're like, Final Fantasy VIII's crap. I'm like, it looks okay. It's got some okay looking characters. What's the problem? People have like a million issues with it. Got him. All right, I got full health. Skate or die too. I've heard that's terrible in all aspects. What's up, Thrash and Crash? I know you told me about that game. You said not to play it. Probably would enjoy it because you're not supposed to level. 
You're not supposed to level. That sounds good. Good. That means I can't grind. I don't want to grind. Make it harder. Final Fantasy VIII is pretty good, but the, uh, not the best, but it's good. Draw system sucks. So, Muji, what's up, man? Welcome in. We're on loop two of this game. We're just seeing how far we can make it on loop two on max difficulty. I'm not going to try and get through loop two, but this is fun just going until we lose. Kind of like an old arcade game. Oh, we ran out of money. That's the end of the run. Oh, that was close. All right, I got the power up, though. Power up. All right, watch out for these undead guys that can punch. Freaking Mike Tyson. Hope Mike Tyson annihilates Jake Paul. I hope that's not even close. Jake Paul. That's who all the kiddies are pulling for. Hey, guys, who are you pulling for? I'm pulling for Jake Paul. Poggers. <laughs> oh, my God, stupid turtle. All right, I always get hit there. I'm not sure where to go to avoid damage there. I'm pulling for Jake Paul. Poggers, everybody. That's so the kids are like. God damn it, it hit me. I don't know how, but it did. And that guy, yeah, this run's done. That's all right. That's all right. We're getting deep into loop two. Scaling system in eight scales really hard. Okay, I'm, I'm interested in trying it. If you don't like it, eight isn't very good. If you do like it, it's fine. I bet I will, more than likely. I, I like most RPGs. I'm, I'm getting the bad pattern with this guy. Fired low. Shoot high. Oh, good. I got it. The good pattern. We're going to kill him? Got him. Hitless again. Lucky. No, it hasn't happened yet. It got delayed because Mike Tyson's having some kind of medical problem. So it got delayed. <laughs> but hopefully it just destroys Jake Paul because I don't want to hear the kids talk about how poggers that guy is. I hate that terminology. Bye, guys. Poggers. What the hell kind of word is that? Oh, they were talking about like pogs and stuff back in the day. Poggers. Kids and these words. Alright, well, we got a little bit of a run working here. All right, there's no way I'm gonna be rock steady without any more health than this. Really, game. Yeah. Alright, well, maybe we'll make it to level four. Poggers is not a base word. I don't want to hear it. It's not very skibbity of, of me. What the, What is that word? Use words I know. The fight's been postponed. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, that's okay. Jake Paul can uh, have his reputation intact for a little bit longer before he gets slaughtered. At least I hope. Maybe I'll go to my dad's house and we'll get it on pay-per-view and pull for Tyson. That'd be fun. Ooh, that was a good dodge right there. That was close. All right, time to be Tiger. Wish I'd been there to serve those early mixer streams with a bunch of teenagers in chat. You can kind of get a gist for it a little bit while watching the old YouTube videos, Vanilla. But since the chat's not on the screen, it's harder to keep up with it. Ducking, welcome in. How's it going today, man? Vetting all what's going on. Have you played Die Hard on the SNES? Never. I bet it's terrible. Something tells me it's not good. What's going on, Vetting all? Welcome in. Good to have you here. Ducking, good to have you here. Tyson beats the brakes off of Paul. Can you imagine the memes? Yeah, it gets stomped by an old man. <laughs> Even if it's Tyson, people will be like, yeah, but he was like, what, 30 years older than you and you, he'd still beat you? I, bet, I really hope he wins. All the kids are pulling for Paul because he's one of their YouTube heroes or whatever. Ooh, that was close! Oh, no! Yes! We're going to make it to the final stage! We're not going to beat it, but we're going to get there, and that's fine with me. Not we're going to beat Rocksteady anyway. <laughs> Cheetah Man? Yeah, basically, this is like Cheetah Man. That's right, Cheetah Man, the greatest thing ever. Retro Gamer, welcome in. It's every day? What's every day? Jake Paul getting whooped? If I lose, lose for Paul as far as outcome is going to make money off it, it'll be a win-win for him because they'll make money. That's all they care about. They're in it for the money, like everything else. Oh my god, I survived. All right, we're not done. <laughs> we're not done! Power up. 
We're not done. This is loop two, level five, by the way. I've made it to level five on loop freaking two on the maximum difficulty. I'm so happy with this. I have not enough health to fight Rocksteady, but who cares? I like being here. Now the next goal is to just see how far we can make it on this stage before dying. Power up. As your dreams is an RPG, I'm guessing today's RPGs are really long, Retro Gamer. <laughs> They're really damn long. I love that, but not for streaming purposes. I would never stream a long RPG. I did Final Fantasy VI on stream, but that was a challenge run more so than like learning anything. Oh, that was close. All right, well, this is it. This is it! He's gonna destroy me, I got no hope. I, I'm gonna try, one, I got one idea to try. It's gonna fail, but I'm gonna try. Got me, God damn it! I don't know the patterns well enough. All right, well, it was a good run. Got to lock rock steady on loop two on maximum difficulty, that's great. I'm thrilled. That was a great run. All the way there, I'll take it. I will more than take it. Thank you for the GG's. Fun stuff. Eater of Worlds, welcome in. How's it going today? Everybody's in it for the money, I know. I know everyone.